good day. You're playing Elden Ring on mouse and keyboard and you're struggling with the controls, especially when it comes down to backstabs, guard counters, parries and other shenanigans because you never really get into it. And some of the stuff is really terribly bound. I mean, I don't like that heavy attack is shift and holding left mouse button. That means you have to like hold shift the whole time when you want to do heavy attacks. There got to be better solutions for that. So first, I'll present you some of the standard command schemes, and then I'll also show you an updated one that I have been using myself now on mouse and keyboard to in total improve my whole gameplay experience. And one thing I see mouse and keyboard players suffering the most from is doing backstabs especially when you land a guard counter amongst other shenanigans, because backstabs are just walk up and press the light attack trigger. Light attack in this case being just left mouse button, one click. But instead of doing the one click, which means you walk up to an opponent from behind, you could lock him in and then just press the one click. No specialties, nothing actually needed. You can you can do that by running around someone you can sneak up to someone so even even if he's standing like facing you you know you can block right right holding right mouse button the problem is when you're holding right mouse button and you want to do a guard counter so this here is a parry that means you have to perfectly hit the enemy's hidden to actually parry them which we all have a video on that's not the point here there's something called a guard counter which is a billion times easier to do than a parry a guard counter actually has the stance break. But in order to do that, you need to do a heavy attack. A heavy attack after blocking, which means that we're talking about blocking, pressing shift right after the block and left mouse button. So so you need to you need to do a heavy attack which is already bad. I, for example, bound my heavy attack to my T button. So instead of pressing shift and left mouse button to do a heavy attack, right now, heavy attacks for me are on my T button. There's nothing there and I can easily reach the T button with WASD, which means that when I'm blocking and hit the block, instead of holding shift and pressing left mouse button, which is terrible because you could also do this accidentally, I just block and press T and instantly get my guard counter out. And that obviously makes it tremendously easier because you only need to press one button instead of multiple. Also, I kind of don't like like really with my pinky finger holding shift the whole time down. So for me, it's really not like now just instead of shift left mouse button, put it somewhere where you like. I mean, there's there's on R is your heel. So you don't want to have it there on E would be looting something uh, on F. You have jumping right on G. You get the map. So for me, T was the most natural one. I mean, you could also rebind Q for that. It's just, I wanted a button I can easily reach. It might also be good to put it where your thumb is because your thumb is constantly on space, right? So you can sprint and you can roll. But you could also put it on V or C, for example, or B even, that instead of using your any finger from WASD, because that's the trick, you keep all fingers on WASD and your thumb could just be on V. I just still like putting it on team. That's just where I have my heavy attacks. So I wanted to put it actually on the mouse. So the mouse side button, but that input is actually not being taken by the game. What you could do now is you could go into your mouse software. And for example, on the side button here on B5, you could technically bind that he's going to be hitting team. So now, now my, my left mouse button is T and T is obviously also for heavy attack so that I have here the quick attacks. And now if I press this one, I do a heavy attack, which means like you literally have here and then here my thumb on the side button, I have a heavy attack. All your mouses should have that, which means now if we're running up to an opponent and we block his attack, I press my mouse side button and then left click for light attack. So that, that's obviously way better control scheme in my eyes than anything before. So again, easy attack. And for the guard counter, you block. And as your block connects, you press heavy attack, which then would be my thumb. And you see the telltale ching that pops up when this connects. Now, obviously, also something very interesting that I see people struggling with is two-handing their weapon. 
Now, if you wanted to hand your weapon instead of one handing it, and this is kind of like stupid that you don't actually find the control scheme there. That would just be like holding E, E, and left click. Boom. Now you're hold handing it, left click still light attack, right click heavy attack. Okay. And most importantly, as you're two handing the weapon now, you can hold right mouse button and press shift. for your special attack. Now, obviously, again, that's kind of stupid, right? Because you have to hold the right mouse button, press shift, and press, you know, attack to actually do the weapon art. Now, for your one-handed sword, that would also right click and then hold shift. And then again, attack. So all these, all these things together to actually get that done. We don't want this. In the keybinds, that would be skill. What we're talking about. Shift, right mouse button, as you've seen there. We don't, we don't want this. So I would bind this now to V. As I said, V has nothing there. So we're going to put it on V. And now if you have your weapon out and you're pressing V, you're already doing the special ability. And then you just have to do left light attack or heavy attack to actually get it done now obviously if you want to make this even easier you can again macro bind it just to your second mouse button if you have one but i prefer to have my skill there tremendously now if we're having the 200 out getting the 200 out pressing e left mouse button to dual wield it so again for that it would be v heavy attack throw them up now for my other weapon, it would be V and then heavy attack too. For example, V, heavy attack. And if you want to spontaneously mid fight, swap back to your shield, you hold E, boom, shield out. You can block, guard counter. Block, guard counter. Now I have one problem with swapping your equipment and everything. As a controller player i never have to take my hand of the mouse or the keyboard so if i have locked an opponent in i can seamlessly still swap between things but now if i'm walking up to this gentleman and we're locked in and we're mid-combat and i do want to swap between my flasks and everything i have to take the hand of the mouse right so i can still run around him but i want to swap things here i have to take the hand of the mouse i don't really like that personally i think this is actually terrible so what i would do here again is i would go into the settings and scroll down to item switch which is that here and i would switch item mouse wheel down and switch sorcery mouse wheel up now when you're actually in the game with mouse wheel down you can go through these right so you you just go through you rotate through Obviously, this can be crazy when you have too many there, but with mouse wheel up, you would also go through your heels. Now, again, you do the mouse wheel for the locking on, so you might get confusion there. Don't accidentally hit your mouse wheel. But I could essentially have my mouse, you know, I could attack seamlessly without problems, and I can just mouse wheel up and down. And this is the closest you come to the controller scheme, because again, on controller, you also don't go up and down through the things, but you, you just scro keep scrolling. So you have three, four items in here. You might have to scroll a little bit, but scrolling goes really fast and you can still control your mouse while doing it. You don't have to take your hand off. For weapon swaps, it's a bit... Mm. So if you if you wanted to like go for, for your healing now, so you're going to dual wield mostly, right? But then you want to quickly go for your incantation. You'd actually have to hit left key. I, I do think this is okay because for doing this, you're going to run away from the boss and then hit this to get your heal out and then quickly cast your spell. Now using magic when you have a seal out is just a right click and I don't think anything needs to be changed about that. That's actually fine. So if you have magic in your left hand or your left slot, then just with a right click, you essentially pull that out. So now when you're like fighting like this, every time you press right, you would be casting. Obviously don't accidentally press right, right? Most important part is really for me, rebinding the heavy attack because that makes everything so much better especially when you're using your abilities 
and that is very important because we're we're, we're talking about like you you want to you want to use your freaking combat ability and you don't want to kind of press shift and then right click so right now again it's holding v and that's so important for any kind of weapon art just hold v do your heavy attack or light attack and get it off Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this could help you with your Elden Ring combat and make things a bit more clear for you. If you have any further questions, control schemes, and mouse and keyboard, just ask them in the description below. Mouse and keyboard can be pain to play with this, but there, and there's a reason you're playing controller. I mean, the, the main advantage is you have just the two sticks and everything available, and it's like right hand, left hand, right hand. You know, it makes all sense. And that's what I kind of have been trying to emulate a little bit here more, that we have this with the heavy attack being bound to like the mouse still right next to your button. So you just have that with your left attack being right bound to that, that you have the guard block way better and other shenanigans. So you can now, hopefully with this control scheme, enjoy the game even more. Sorry it took me so long to make. It actually just occurred to me that this is actually complicated. And the most important one to not forget is E, left click, for actually two-handing things. Now that being said, I wish you a fantastic time with Elden Ring. Again, further questions, drop them below. Don't forget to check out the other videos that are quite frankly, hopefully helping you with the Elden Ring. And see you in the next video.